it is Aston Villa nil, Manchester United nil, Manchester United keep picking up those draws. Those 3.5 keep on coming, like, and they keep on telling you they just rather keep us high instead of keeping us high off goals and wins and Ws and three points. No, we're actually getting half the real stuff. They've been drug dealing the shit out of us, giving us cues, eight balls, all the type of draws in the world, Manchester United. It has been five, six games, and I haven't seen my team win a game. And they say keep the manager, Eric Ten Hag. Well, I say, guess what? No. After this week, this was an important week for Eric Ten Hag himself. And guess what? He flopped. He let us down. And this team cannot attack to save our life or school for shit. What a horrible performance it was for Manchester United. Yes, we got the draw. Yes, we didn't lose. Yes, we got a point. But guess what, guys? What did we amount to when we went forward? Absolutely nothing. Zero. And I'm tired of this. I'm tired of this. Draws, 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 draws. We got draws in our heart. We got draws in our heart. We got the draws, 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 draws in our heart. Bloody hell, drug dealers FC. That's what we are. Man, you keep giving it to us. 3.5, some Cali Kush, you know, some amnesia, you know, because we were managed by a Dutch man. And you know, in Amsterdam, it's all about it. We might as well call ourselves Manchester. Because we just keep collecting draws. Manchester indeed. That's what we should call us. I am fed up. Tired. Tired. Oh, Man United, just get to win. Can we get a W? We're out here begging in the streets out here. We're not a bunch of bums outside the streets asking for spare points, spare some goals, spare some free points, you know, spare a new manager if you can, please. Because we are bums. We are bums. We are fucking bums. I'm tired of this. Manchester United need to improve. And so far, it's been poor. We're going into October. We're going into another international break. And it's been poor since we've come back from international break from the last one. It's been poor. And it's going to be poor again when we come back. We cannot do anything with Eric I'll Just get him out. Get him out. This match has been absolutely shit. Yes, it was Aston Villa. And it was a tough game. And you say, I've ruined Spice, you're crazy. A point is a good point. Good result against Aston Villa. Considering that they beat Bayern Munich in midweek. Because we can't do that. We struggled to even beat FC Porto. We was up and we ended up drawing. Ha! Ah, up, down to draw. But yes, you think I'm crazy. But guess what, guys? No, it's not good enough. I don't care if it was Aston Villa. This is Manchester United. Big bad manchester united and we just can't be out here just looking like us dehydrated anorexic ma bad wolf of manchester united no seriously we need to look like a well fed but we're not we're anorexic as fans we can't get goals we can't get anything we're struggling out here we're super hungry we are super hungry we're better off replacing those kids that look skinny and sick in those back in the days when I used to see those African adverts, those aid adverts. We might as well replace them and have the flies all around our face. That's us right now as Manchester United fans. That's what we look like. We hungry. We need help. And Eric Turner won't help us. He won't, he won't help you. Just bring in Ruth Van Story. Today's game has been poor. Because if you look at the first half, attacking, we was sh shit. We cannot create chances. We're not good on the ball. We can't pass. Can't do anything. That midfield of ours is weak. That up front as well, that attacking of ours is weak as well. In the attacking phase, we can't do anything. Another game again. Each time we have the ball, we pass the ball and we give it away. All the time. I don't know what they're teaching in training, but this ain't working. Uh, We've just been poor in the first half, and the second half also was even poor. What a horrible game! What a horrible game! What a waste of my weekend! What a waste of my Sunday! I could have went somewhere else. I could have done. You could have done something else, guys. A lot of players just play poor and badly. Aston Villa, we was lucky that we didn't did have their best players. They had a few players missing. There was they lost the energy. We played an Aston Villa team that wasn't really. Um, energized because obviously all their energy went into that Bayern Munich team that Bayern Munich game as well and and they looked dejected 
so he was lucky in that kind of aspect. But to, but we could have took advantage of it. But you know, Manchester United would never do that. Poor, poor, poor. But I have to pick up the defense because they did their thing. They did their part. They made sure they gave us a clean sheet. Andre Onana made sure that they gave us a clean sheet. But the, the midfield and defense can suck ass. They suck ass. Their pants. Dog shit. I have to say today, big up to Evans. He's my man in the match today. Johnny Evans, defensively solid today. Maguire came off injured. Look at Maguire. You get opportunities to play. You just keep on getting injured. This guy just does, don't want us to sell him. He, he wants to prove to the, world, to, to the whole world that he's injury prone. He did well as well. Dilik came on and did his bits. Um, Masrari had to come off at half time. I reckon maybe that was tactical because he's been playing a lot of games. Might be tired. But again, I don't understand my manager. And I know you guys don't as well. It's been one hell of an ugly watch to, of a match day to watch. It hurt us. My neck was stiff throughout the whole game. I've had a bad sleep. All that pain from Manchester United all up in that neck. And it was hard to just keep my head up high to watch Manchester United. It pained me to watch how to watch Manchester United how play today. This neck is stiff. I had to use Voltaroid to keep myself intact to just help numb the pain but it wasn't enough what i learned today as well was poor Manu was poor rashford poor he had to come off everybody was poor our manager was poor it is what it is guys but guys this has been your match reaction man in the match today i said uh, um evans don't cure the match a lot of players a lot of them well we keep it moving make sure you guys tune in tomorrow for the catch up at 8 p.m uk time let me know what your thoughts on today's game as well who do you think it was your man of the match and your dog here the match till next time guys remember to keep it united remember to keep it ready now your boy is out peace can we get a win <laughs> after international break let's see <laughs>